Hello everyone, Broadbent here, and welcome to a brand new game, Void Train. This got released yesterday, and I'm so excited to play it. Basically, if you want a quick summary of what this game is like, um, think of Raft, but in space on a train. Um, the devs might hate that comparison, but that's quite accurate. Um, so, let's jump straight in here. So, there's a little bit of story that you're missing. Okay, kinders. Tis time to come out one by one. Yeah? So... Yeah, yeah, every single this good. We're locked the door here. Yeah. We're playing a Russian. Uh, one of three Russian survivors. I think three or four. And we built this based on some scientist notes. And we are leaving Earth right now. To go to the Void. This is our train. And uh, we can attach a little handle here, and we can now leave, I think. Uh, no, we have to go down here. So this is the gateway into the void. Let's go ahead and just turn that on. And we've got Germans knocking at the door. I'm stuck. <laughs> Let's go. Jonas, let me try. Let oh, they got the door. Interesting. Okay. So, right here, this is the beginning of our train. I really don't know how advanced the train gets. I played about, about 20, 20, 30 minutes of the game. Just the raw basics of what to do. Um, and I'm super excited to see what we can do in this game. So, we can kill those things or harvest them. There's no hunger or anything like that. There's just health. Which I'm a huge fan of. Nothing worse than a survival game that's so advanced you've got to monitor, like, metabolism. Like, who cares? <laughs> right. This is the void. Around, we've got loads of floating islands and stuff. And you can see the little shiny things in the distance. That is what we need. So, right here, we can jump off and we start to fly around and we're tethered to the train. So... I can get that. Yep, let's collect a few things. So that was metal, which is super, super useful. We're going to need a lot of that. I've noticed the game is just a touch grindy here and there. Okay, we're going to need a lot of metal here. So if we just start gathering that. Now, as you can see, I can only go so far away, and then the tether stops me. I'm going to need a lot of wood as well. Super important. So that's a chemical... You can use that with iron to make copper. Organics. I haven't seen that before. That was interesting. So at the top right, you can see our current objective. And that is to collect metal and wood. Oh my god, I'm getting pulled. Getting pulled quite a lot here. Oh, I accidentally jumped back on here. I need metal. Oh no, I need that. I need that. No. Right, so I can hold F. And then my guy will pull himself into the train. I'm actually going to reverse for that. Which you might think is pointless, but it's super useful. Even some wood I missed. See those things? You can get food from them. Well, they are food. <laughs> All right. So let's go forwards again. And let's mess with what we need to do here. So the research table, let's chuck that down here. Beautiful. And Jesus. Let's see what we can research. A smelter and a container. So we need the smelter. That's okay. Uh, metal is what we need then. You've got to have an eye like a hawk going around collecting these things. If you miss it, it's so annoying. You've got to go all the way back. I like it. A little bit challenging. Uh, right, so quickly let's put the brakes on and we can make the smelter now. Or research it anyway. So now, if we go into our crafting menu, we can make the smelter. So we need a four more metal. See what I mean? <laughs> right. Where is metal? I guess we'll just keep going. So I decided to go backwards to collect a few things. And this barrier, by the looks of it here. So let's not get too close. Don't really know what the consequences are for getting near that thing. Okay, got everything for the smelter. Let's chuck this down over here. Like that. Beautiful. 
Okay, so create. Uh, so this menu on the left, we can put wood in for fuel. I'm just going to put in five. And then here, we can put in metal. So, we need two iron ingots. Wow. And for those of you wondering, yes, you can go below the train. Uh, you can. You can go down and then all the way under it if you really want to. <laughs> I assume that later on, I get the uh, freedom to expand my tether and go and visit these islands, perhaps? Could be quite far ahead, though. I don't know. Dude, an auto collector or like an auto grapple would be so good for this. Like it just latches onto loot around. Damn, that'll be good. All right, let's make the first iron ingot here. I don't think any more metals around right now. Almost done. We now have one iron bar. Lovely. Now I've actually had my eye on this game for quite some time now. There was a Sort of like a little beta demo period that I completely missed. Okay, I'm gonna choke the brakes on here. I've got quite a bit of metal now. Let's check. How much can I make? Oh, wow. Five. Five. Wow. Wait, I'm not... <laughs> I've got no space. All right. I still got we can research. That's completed, so I need to make something now. Take a look. Smelter, research. Okay. I guess I need to complete the research on here and make the container. God, those animals are so annoying. The direction's a bit messed up. Oh, they're down. I couldn't tell if they were up or down. Right, uh, let's take a look in here again. That's all completed now, so something else should be here? Yes, look at that. A workbench, basic components, and copper components. Let's go with a workbench. I think we're going to need that. So we need a little bit more iron before we can make the workbench. Luckily, we've got quite a bit around here. Oh, there's a, gr there's a l ground. Kind of. What is that? Okay, let's see if I've got enough here. Let's chuck some more fuel in. Let's go with five again. And what do I need? I think I need four. Three. Perfect. I should have enough. Okay, workbench. We can chuck that. That needs to be rotated this way. Let's chuck that at the back. Like that. Nice. What can we do in here? Bolts. All right. We need to continue our research by the looks, which is, I need nine, nine metal. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's get it done. Oh, that is the most beautiful sight in this game so far, apart from the environment. <laughs> Two metal back to back. I need some food actually. Did I just get that? Not enough space. What is that? Interesting. All right. Hey. I thought it was metal. <laughs> Looks like fish. Are they fish? What do you call those things? All right, basic components researched. Just need three copper and we are good to go on the next thing, next set. This is such a cool, like, scene, environment, dimension. Oh, your health naturally regens by the looks. It was down to 95, right? A few copper components as well, sweet. And now... Ooh. Ooh, okay. So I haven't actually made this clear, but there's a hammer. And if we take this out, you can see that we can actually build... Uh, Multi-tool mode. What does that mean? We can actually build, like, wooden... Um, we can expand the train. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Interesting. So we can deconstruct things. Okay. Put that away. Ah, there's probably new things on here now. There is. Right. I need more metal again. Uh, we're coming up to something. And I'm running out of metal. There's, I can't see any anywhere lately. What is that? Three metal! No! Alright, put the brake on. Stop. Alright, let's make two copper wire. And then I need a bolt, I think. Two bolts. I don't think I've got enough for that. That's irritating. No, nope, I need one more metal. Luckily, I've got three metal right here. Oh, that's so good. What happens if you drop something? Okay, good. Oh, did that just drop the wrong thing? No. Why do I have two stacks of wood? Do they only stack to five? Oh, 
Right, let's research lab one. And I don't... Do I want to go crazy researching things? I don't know. All right, one yellow, one... Wait, what is that? All right, let's keep going forwards the right way and check out what this thing is. That is very interesting. Probably another one of those gateways. Yeah, it looks like triangle-ish. Yep. All right, I'm not sure what this is, but I know what that is down there. Need metal. Ah, metal! No! Come here! Thank you. What is that, man? Another gateway. I wonder if we're going to find the guy that actually designed these. Because our character just sort of followed off a tutorial. <laughs> sort of like written notes in a book. And... Uh, we're not the original creators, so I wonder if we're gonna find the... Find the guy. I should get on this here. Any metal. No. Alright. We're going through. Open up. Dude. What? Whoa. Ah. I get what this is. It's like a little tunnel. Got you. Oh. What? Ah. Uh, We've been looking around for some time now. Our heroes are trying to understand where they are and who could possibly build such wonders. Yeah. Upon further inspecting the platform, it becomes obvious to them that someone used to live here. An idea occurs to it our does? brave adventurers investigating the abandoned depot. You think someone used to live here? Oh, okay. I can see it now. Oh, look at that. Actual physics interactions. I like that. I hear horrible noises. Now, one thing I didn't like about this game straight away was that there was no FOV slider. I'm not sure if that's going to be something they plan on adding uh, later on. Well, someone did live here. <laughs> uh, but now they're dead. Somebody has been in good graces nice. with the goddess of luck. Nice. You want me to go through here? How do I go through there? Ah. <laughs> I walk into it. Uh-huh. Okay. So I did all that for... Look at... Is this how long your train can be? Dude, I like it. All right, let's check out over here. Oh my god. So cool. I have six. You have unlimited bullets. It's unlimited. All right. Um, sure. I think everything's explored here, so let's leave. Oh! A bit quick. Just a bit. Dude, I like that. It's nice. Neat animation. Right, let's get to work on the lab. So, let's quickly look at what we need for that. Where is it? The lab. We need two bolts and two copper. So we need eight, I think eight metal. Don't hold me to it. <laughs> I think I might spend those that metal on a crate here. I, I could use it. Oh, that's, that should so fit under there, devs. Think about that one. Sure. It helps. It helps. Where'd my gun go? <laughs> Did I lose my gun? It looks like metal's getting more and more common the further I get. Like, I've just picked up so much. It's not even funny. <laughs> I spent so long getting all that back at the beginning. There's more. I can't reach that. No, come on, train. We'll leave it. There's so much. Wait, I think there might actually be thirst and hunger in the game. We'll have to see. I, I can't say for sure. I just saw the little icons down at the bottom right, if you see there. So we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's see if we can make the lab. Where is it? Here? Yes. Uh, that's going to go right here. Face it forwards. Perfect. 
Right, I need a little yellow thing. Which is that, a cheese triangle. It looks like you're attacking my stuff. Hold on a second. How do I shoot you? Ah! You see that? There's a little R on it. That's an R. That is fuel. I can probably get that from the creatures. Come here, you. I do! So now I can research this. Chemical components. It's good to know that fat is fuel, so... I need to kill as many of those things as I can, pretty much. Leather. That's new. Oh, got two. All right, that's everything research right now. We got a new set of researchables. A platform. <gasps> Yo, let's see how long fat burns for. How many metal? I need four metal. Quite quick. It's a good use, I like it. Right, I need two bearings, so I have everything for it. Beautiful. Right, what else do I need after that? After those, all I need is four metal now, and then I can make the new car, is it called? A platform, which would be huge. Get off! Okay, very strange little creature. Doesn't really have a purpose. Doesn't really seem to damage things. Yo, look at that. I want to know if I can get down there at some point. That'd be sick. Right, I've got everything for the platform upgrade. Probably can't make one, though. Let's break for now. What just happened? I'm sorry. What? I pressed E on this. Uh... Okay. Sure. I just collapsed and died. There we go, though. We've now got the platform. What just happened? Keep moving forward. All right, that's my main progression right now. Sure. I don't want that. Cool. What else can I upgrade now? A bandage or a sterilizer. That's a bandage. And a kitchen. Nice. Uh, I do think I want to make a platform, though, before I do anything else. Let me quickly take a look at that. So I think I do this with the hammer right now. I don't really know. Do I? All right. I'm just going to keep going forwards because that's what the game's telling me to do. I'm going to collect resources along the way. Try and get all the metal I can because that's honestly the bottleneck. Okay, we're coming up to another gate here. And I think every time... Well, not every time, but the first few times at least that you go to um, the station and you station, I think you're going to get like a, an important tool... I think that's the right word. Like, I got the gun, right? Which is pretty huge. So, maybe I get something that allows me to... Um, I don't know. I just can't think of anything right now. These ribbons are cool. I like that. We'll see. We'll see. But I think that's the uh, the case here. Oh. Oh, I fell off. Let me in. Ah! That's so cool. I like that. Uh... Control punked? <laughs> I can't. I can't. Alright, so very much like Raft in the sense that you get things laying around uh, islands. This is a similar thing. Aha! Loot everywhere. I like this. <gasps> oh! Ah, uh, that was a little concerning. Okay, I don't know why. Let's take a look what else is around here. Is that going to chuck me down? Ah. That's cool. Can I get up there on a the ladder? What the hell is that? Is that a creature? Ah. Okay. I think there's nothing else I can do here. Oh, I almost made it, man. All right. We can leave. I've got lots of stuff from this. Uh, in fact, let's work on the upgrades. I almost missed that piece of metal over here. Look at that. So that is going to round up everything for episode one of Void Train. Let me know what you think to this game in the comments below. I think this has got great potential. I'm looking forward to the progression and just how this game unfolds as I play it. I've, I've seen nothing of this game other than floating around in the void and obviously what you've seen in today's video. So I'm super looking forward to the rest of this game. Don't forget to leave a like on the video to help support the channel. If you're not already, make sure to get subscribed. That's going to be everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in episode two.